Hi everyone. So I'm going to do my monthly favorites before the year's out. Um, just to keep things simple and keep my whole year under in one year and all together. Um, it rained for probably the biggest portion of December. And honestly, like, yeah, definitely the biggest portion of December. It was really, really hard to keep my hair straight. Some days it wasn't straight and... But foundation that did hold up during the month of December is the Pro Longwear Foundation. Now, I know this is not waterproof, but it is water resistant. So, as long as you're not like putting your face underneath like a waterfall or anything like that, it'll generally hold up without you getting like water spots and stuff like that in your foundation. So, I really, really like that. And at the same time, this month I was like, I had like dry patches this month and I have an oily T zone, which was like fun. And um, I really enjoyed the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Primer Powder and Finishing Veil. What I like about this is it has like a yellow cast to it. It's not completely translucent, so it doesn't give your skin an ashiness to it. And if you're anything, if you're like medium like me, like I can range anywhere from like NC20 to NC30. I've, I've been an NC30. <clears throat> Translucent powder is not your best friend. If you're NC15 um, and you've got like the fairest of porcelain skins, like you're literally like porcelain in every brand, vanilla in Dunair, then maybe, maybe, maybe Makeup Forever Invisible powder is great. Otherwise, no. Um, what I was also really into this month was red blush. I really enjoyed my red blushes. Let me pull one up for you. Um, matte reds, really, more to be more specific. I uh, really enjoyed matte reds. Um, this is Max Frankly Scarlet. I enjoyed a lovely frostbitten cheek. Um, even though I don't live in the frost, it just made sense to have sort of like that. It's really cold outside. Pretty, pretty glow. And even though this doesn't create a glow, I would use pinky typey highlighters like this one, Pink Pearl from Temp2 and you can even use um, Max Silver Aura or Silver Dusk. Silver Aura is just um, a pro version of Silver Dusk. This is a sample of it and it has more of a prep and prime type of, uh, of consistency to it. Max Prep and Prime powder consistency and Silver Dusk is a little bit more grainy but I still like them both. I would definitely say hands down my most used contour powder was Max the Soft Me Oh, and as I almost break it. I wish I bought a backup of this. I'm going to look online actually right now and see if it's still available. But I really enjoyed, uh, I really enjoyed this because it gives you just a nice soft um, contour. But if I did reach for a peach blush to go with my staple contour, it was going to be actually Sex Appeal as I'm wearing right now. Now, the reason why I recommend NARS Sex Appeal for as many skin tones that can wear it as possible is because it's one of those blushes where you can see that it's like really 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 pretty and it doesn't fight the eyes or the lips and you can really just sort of play with the rest of your makeup but still have a nice uh, flush to the skin without being glittery or whatever. Um, I also used a few of the Makeup Forever HD blushes in a few tutorials this month. I, I alternated a few different ones. I used maybe maybe about four tutorials using this stuff. This is really nice stuff. If you haven't checked out the Makeup Forever HD blushes, definitely go do so. They're fabulous. I have a, I have several shades. I love them all. It's really just a matter of preference as far as that goes. They all really go on very beautiful, very natural. I love them. I also wore a lot of MAC Viva Glam lipsticks this month. I think I wore every shade I own. I don't own four and six but I own duplicates of the ones I do like to sort of support that because I just don't like 4 and 6. Um, but um, I got into pink lips again. Really bubblegummy ones. Um, and I, kind of that go-to perfect uh, bubblegum shade that I can recommend for you guys is Lady Gaga from MAC. 
I really like this one. I recommend this over the lip gloss. Personally, um, this is opaque and it does shine like a gloss. I'm not wearing it now. I'm actually wearing OCC Lip Tar in Hush and Conquest mixed together with uh, NARS Turkish Delight on top. Favorite palette for your money this month would definitely be the Tarte the Jewelry Box. I thought this was a great deal last year as the treasure chest. I bought it last year. I bought it this year. There are comparisons, but they're not the same. Um, I definitely really, really enjoy it. I know some people think that they are favorite layers. Be different people have different assessments of what their favorite layer is. It's hard for me to say because one's matte, one's shimmer. You can't compare a matte and a shimmer. This is flat, this is shimmery. I really think all the colors are lovely. I, um, one girl said that I watched her video. I don't know if she's got a big viewership, but she did say the one thing that would have made this palette perfect is if it contained a blush. Last year it did. This year it's liners. But yeah, I actually do think that they could have picked a more universally appealing bronzer maybe. Maybe something a little deeper because people with really fair skin could have blended it out. And then maybe a nice peach blush would have been great. Um, that way it would have been an all-around all about palette. Personally, I think mini lip gloss containers would have been better. How do you carry these? I mean, you could pot them and stick them in a container, but I think that's goopy. It's messy, and I don't like to deal with it. But overall, great value. Favorite palette for the month, if you're going to buy any of Favorite those. Favorite discovery of the month was Lush. I pretty much changed my basic skincare system with Lush. I've been enjoying it very much. Um, my skin is still sort of trying to perfect itself. It really takes two weeks to see extreme results with a new skincare line. So I'll be working with Lush um, and I'm so excited because I, I bought stocking stuffers and this is a, really, a brand I bragged about when I discovered how close it was. I told everybody like go check it out. It's amazing. Favorite highlighter of the month. You saw me probably use it all month, <laughs> is Max Tissue Weight. I really loved this. It's just like Aura, but with a little dose of shimmer. Really pretty. Creates a bit of a winter inner glow from within, and it actually goes really well with pinky ready eyeshadow. My favorite mascara, and I did love the books in Blackest Black. I used it all up, so if you get a sample of it, definitely be happy about that by all means. But I did like the Hot and Naughty Lash by MAC Moore. Uh, just a heads up, if you're looking to get this, a lot of people hate MAC mascara, but I found this to be pretty inky. Um, I've got all the mascara on there. You actually have to wipe it off, so that might be bothersome to some, but I like to go in with the pink part first and get all my lashes defined with the small part, and then I like to go back in with the purple portion and fluff it all out. I don't like to use the fluffer first and then have to go back in and sort of poke poke through it. So I just like to define them at first and then just sort of comb it all out. Uh, what else did I like this month? And one last thing, I wore a lot of natural neutrally eyes, not eyes, lips this month because I feel that they look really pretty uh, in pictures and it's something that I can always use in tutorials because I feel it's always sort of safe bet to always like just do beautiful lips for Christmas because some things just photograph bad and you don't want a bad photograph and it puts time on the photograph and lets you know exactly what year it is. I don't necessarily like that um, all the time. Some photographs it's okay but um, if I could recommend a universally pleasing natural lip shade, it is Max Cosmo. It is an amplified cream. Beautiful, beautiful. It's just a natural your lips but better color and it's really creamy. So um, you could wear dramatic eyes with this and then you just don't have to worry about the lips. They're done, they're beautiful, they're creamy, they're perfect. So yeah, that completes it for my December favorites. I hope this wasn't a bland one. And I hope you have a happy new year. Talk to you later. Bye.